choosing the right metrics empowers or dooms your marketing team very often. Mm -hmm. And over oh, like making too many metrics, tracking too much, like that's where you do, you think you're being data driven, you think you're being data led, you're just confusing the team, to be honest, and you're focusing on too many things that, that makes you lose sight of what is the single most important goal for a company It is to drive profits, so you can stay open, so you can innovate, so you can continue to better help the market that you serve. Exactly. I, I think we, we talked about here, uh, you know, sometimes when you are entering as the new CMO and you already have the sales land motion uh, empowered, you know, in that kind of situation, not to mess things up or to mm -hmm. create trust, you know, maybe the best thing is to align marketing uh, goals to the sales goals and go through that and then work work out from, from that perspective, you know, just from the perspective, not to complicate it too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sales will love you for it. I mean, I remember when I was at Refine Labs going into new clients and you'd have the CMO who was super excited, the CEO who's just like, all right, you guys have the growth goal. And then you have the VP of sales who's just sitting there like, great, another marketing agency. And by the end of that call, I usually ended up liking working with the VP of sales, the CRO more than the marketing leader half the time because they were just like, oh, you're only focused on pipeline for our team and revenue and what actually our sales reps and AEs want to work. Perfect. Like we'll make this happen. And then they're the ones having the conversations on the ground every day, day in and day out. What's working? What's not? Who are you talking to the most? What segments? Like they are the best source of, of information for you. So that's the other beautiful side is it, it realigns marketing to sales as a true, like a go-to-market team. That's what you're both responsible for at the end of the day. And neither will be successful without the other. And that's something that we've just forgotten as time has gone on. Uh, 